there is the concept of the intended curriculum. The intended curriculum is what the curriculum designers created, or in this case, the game developers created, and it is the thing that we want everyone to walk away and no one understand. And we intend for this to happen, and we intend for these understandings to occur, and everyone's going to become the best computer scientists in the world as a result of this curriculum. That's the intended part. Now, the talk curriculum is what is actually taught by the teachers in the classroom or through the experience itself. So this goes hand in hand with the intended curriculum. But as the authors note, what is intended often differs in terms of how it was taught. So the authors wanted more of a discussion that was supposed to go with the preparatory lessons, but they noted that some of the teachers spent significantly more time than they wanted doing the preparatory lessons as lectures. So again, intended was different than what is taught. Now, the next layer down would be the experience curriculum. So this is what kids actually experience in the curriculum itself. So what they're actually going through in the class. This is, can be and often is different than what is taught because what a student experiences is kind of dependent on many other factors. Now, in addition to what its students experience through the curriculum, there's also the embodied curriculum. These are the meanings that are derived from the experienced curriculum itself. So for example, if a student experiences a CS as unplugged lessons alone, they might embody the notion that computer science doesn't involve working on a computer. So let me kind of unpack those four so far. So we have intended curriculum. This is what like the curriculum or game developer intends to be learned or taught from the curriculum itself. However, that is often different than what is taught by the actual teacher. They might add their own spin on it or change some things or forget something or teach it in a way that is different than what is intended. Now, this then impacts the experience curriculum, which is what the students actually engage in in the classroom, which is sometimes different than the embodied curriculum, which are the takeaways, the things that they learn and walk away from. So even though it, something was intended, the way it was taught influences the way it was experienced, which influences what is actually embodied. All four of those things are completely different layers of curriculum development that we have to take in consideration when studying curricula in a classroom setting. Now, there's also other layers. So for example, there's a hidden or implicit curriculum. Now, the hidden or implicit curriculum is the curriculum that takes place beyond what is overtly stated. So for example, classroom and school norms are forms of hidden or implicit curriculum. An example that a lot of um, people talk about is norms in terms of raising hands and how quiet or loud a classroom or quote learning environment is supposed to be versus an informal learning environment such as the playground or whether or not students are walking in groups or walking in a straight line when going from one place of the school to the other. These are all forms of hidden or implicit curriculum. Now, another thing that we also have to think about when doing this kind of stuff is the tested curriculum. So this is what typically dictates what is perceived as important to know. So if it's on the test, that is something that a student is going to likely view as, okay, I need to know this thing, I need to do well on it, and the other stuff that's not on the test, I'm going to ignore. So if computer science is a tested curriculum, then the things that are tested on there, such as conditionals, like if else, if that's on the test, that's deemed as important. But if variables is not on the test, well, that's not as important. And one more that I'll mention in terms of different ways to look at the curriculum is the null curriculum. So that is what is left out. So no school or curriculum is ever able to teach everything. So what students don't have the opportunity to learn in schools is referred to as a null curriculum. The reason why I'm bringing up the intended, taught, experienced, embodied, hidden, or implicit tested and null curriculum is because these are all different ways that we could analyze different layers of curriculum itself. In this case, a board game that is then transferring, hopefully transferring knowledge into a digital environment. This excerpt was from CSK8 podcast number 22, which is titled Introducing Coding Through Tabletop Board Games and Their Digital Instantiations Across Elementary Classrooms and School Libraries. You can listen to the full episode as well as hundreds more by searching for the CSK8 podcast on your favorite podcast app. 